Okay, so um, in this video, what we're going to do is we're going to look at the graph editor, this little thing down here. Um, it's quite complicated um, when you're, you first use After Effects, and the first time I used it, it blew my mind. I just couldn't understand what was going on. And normally you'll look at it and it'll look kind of like this. It might even look a little bit more um, complicated with things like this on it and you go in here and you go oh my god what is this um this is just impossible um so you come out of it and you go i'll just do it normally on the timeline but what we're going to do in this lesson is we're just going to demystify that a little bit okay so what we've got on the timeline here is a, a simple little animation which shows a square moving across the screen in three different ways they all have a start and end point at the same place, so they all take the same duration to move across the screen. However, the way they move across the screen is different. The top one is just a basic movement from left to right. The second one is an easy ease function, and the last one has been graph edited. So let's just break that down a little bit. So just let's look at the first one. So let's just turn these two off, and let's have a look. Turn that one off. So this normal one is just moving between this point and this point in a linear fashion. And if we look at the graph editor, we'll see that it moves along this line in, an, in an, a very linear manner. You can see the time the, the player going along it. And basically what that's doing is it's just, this is the speed. So it's going at roughly about 1,400 pixels per second that's what it's roughly that's what its rough speed is and it just continues along that line until one second and that's where it stops now i've got it set to ping pong which is the reason why it's going backwards and forwards and to do that you have to add like a little bit of script that's something for an, a later lesson but don't worry if your your numbers here are blue traditionally they will be blue and when i do it you'll see the blue it's just the red so that it goes over and over and go over while we're doing it so as you can see this is a horizontal line. If we were to look at the other one, so let's turn that one off and put the other one on. And we look at this one, so we'll highlight the two keyframes. You'll now see that this line is not horizontal, it's curved. And this is the easy ease function. So basically what it does, is it starts at zero, it builds speed and it goes down to zero. It's not moving at the same speed all the time. So it starts, although it's, it looks like it's constantly moving, it is actually stopped at the beginning it's moving in the middle and it stops at the end, except it's going backwards and forwards. And then the last one is the graph edited one. And if we look at this one, turn that off, we'll see that this one has a completely different graph. So as you can see, this one starts off slow, picks up speed, slows down. And you can see slow, picks up speed, slows down. Okay. So that's the fundamentals of what it'll look like. Um, but what I'm going to do is I'm going to take you through it step by step. So let's just turn these layers off so we can't see them. Okay, and we'll, we'll start with a, a new one at the top. So we'll start by adding a, a little square, just drawing with a shape. And to make sure that the uh, point of origin or the um, the center of the square is in the actual center of the square. We use the pan behind tool, hold command or control on the keyboard and just double click and it'll now put that in the middle. So that's now in the center. It's not a massive um, problem if you don't, but if you come onto rotation and things like that, that will that will make a difference if you don't put the, the registration point in the center. So let's just go back to the beginning and go to frame one and go to our layer, which we've got transform and our position click on the little stopwatch, move to one second, and then move it across the screen. And that is your normal movement. Consistent, boring, vanilla, sterile movement, and you don't really want that. Okay, if we look at the graph editor, you'll see it looks exactly the same as one before, straight line, and then it stops. If you look at this speed here, so it says, 500,000 so again it's the same sort of speed if I was to make this shorter so if I come down to 15 frames and look at that now it looks the same you think well it looks the same well it is except that now 
it's no longer about 1200 or 1400 on here. It's now over 2500 pixels because what's happening is it's, it's still moving linearly, but it's moving at a constant pace, but at a quicker rate between the two keyframes. That's keyframe one, that's keyframe two. So it has to go faster. And if I do that again and make it even shorter, you'll see it, go, it goes up again. So now 5,000 pixels per second. Roughly it looks the same on the graph editor. It's just that it doesn't really um, make sense when you're just looking at it. It's, you've got to look at these numbers down the side. So let's just stretch that out a little bit more. Back over to there. So you can see about 1,400 maybe. Now, when you're looking in the graph editor, you want to make sure that you've, you're showing animated properties. So make sure that you've got show animated properties ticked and you want to be in the edit speed graph. If you're in the edit value graph, it will look completely different. And we'll maybe do something a little bit more with the uh, edit graph. But this is basically the X and Y coordinate. So we are having a uh, rectangle travel from A to B. It's moving in distance up here. So this is distance, these are pixels. So it starts at zero there and moves across to there, which is just a little bit over 1500 pixels on the X axis. It's traveling on the X axis across. On the Y axis, it's not traveling at all. It's not moving up and down or anything on the Y axis. Okay but we'll come back to that later. So we'll just go back to the speed graph. Okay, so in the speed graph, what we're gonna do is we're going to look at this now for easy ease, okay? So I'm just gonna move this down using the anchor point. So this will just move the entire animation down. It will leave this little track here, but we'll just move it down just so it's in line. So I'm just gonna move this anchor point down to here. It will still move across it will look exactly the same. It's just the anchor points now up here and the actual objects down here. Don't worry too much about that. Okay, so this time we've got the, we've got, we want to easy ease it. So this time what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna highlight the two points, control, keyframe assistant and easy ease. And it's also F9 on, on your shortcuts, so easy ease. And you'll notice that the keyframes have now changed these sort of like little egg timer sort of like shapes. And the movement's changed. It's no longer as linear as it was before, and it has a little bit more interest. If we look at the graph editor, we'll now see that the line is no longer straight, it's curved. And this is because we've added easing points. So this is your easy ease here. So if we just go back, and I'll show you that, see, show you that in real terms on a different way. So undo undo, undo, undo. So this is normal. If I select this and I click easy ease here, it brings it down there. And if I select that and click easy ease there, it brings it down there. That creates your curve, that little button there. Okay, it's just the same, looks the same on here. It's just a different way of doing it. And as you can see, as it moves along, it'll move faster in the middle and slower towards the edges. And that's your basic easy ease. The third one, and we'll move that down again, is your graph editor edited. So we start off with the easy ease. So we start off with this. And then what we can do is we can then adjust these handles. So we can pull this handle this way. Now what that'll do is it'll mean that this slows down towards the end. So it'll start off fast and it'll slow down. And if we increase this side, it'll start off even faster and slow down even slower. So you get almost like a, um, an acceleration to a slow down to a stop. If we pull them both into the middle, like the, is on the example, you get this spike whereby it starts off really slow and then it goes really quick. And it's because this is the distance here. This is the distance it's traveling. And as you can see, it's only traveling a little bit of distance here between that point and that point. So it's only gonna move really slowly, but between here and here, in that point there, it's traveling all that distance over that short space of time between there and there. And you get the whoosh. Okay. So 
that is the basics of the graph editor. And, you know, you can move these things around so you can lift this up and you can do different things with this. And basically all, all what will happen now is that this will um, start off at a, a different rate to what it was doing before. And it'll slow down. So all these different things make different effects. If I do it the other way, it'll start off slow and it'll speed up. If I move down to there, it means it's starting at zero and accelerating. Should be even greater. So if you wanted something flying off the screen, you'd want that. But obviously you'd want it to go off the screen. So if we move that off the screen now, actually we'll go back to make sure that that does go off the screen at that point. There we go. Now that will go off the screen. So there you go, that's the graph editor. Um, it takes a bit of time to get used to. Like I said, it, it's not the easiest thing to get used to, but as long as you, you go by the show animated properties and the edit speed graph settings, you'll not really go wrong. Um, you don't need to worry too much about the rest of these, these buttons here. These just change the interpolation of your keyframes. Something for you to grasp a little bit later on once you've got adjusted to this. Let's just go back to the um, the original one though, so you can see the value graph. So I'm just going to undo, oh no, I'll stay with this. So as you can see, on the, on the x-axis this speeds up and slows down. But on the y-axis it doesn't move at all. Okay, so this is, this is the distance this way here that it's traveling. It's traveling around about 2000 pixels from there to there. And it starts off slowly, speeds up and slows off again. If I was to move this up here, you'll notice that the Y axis now starts to be involved because we're actually moving it across the Y axis, which is actually coming down the screen. And if I did it the other way, you'd notice it went that way. So now it's going across the screen. I know it's coming off the screen because it's it's my anchor point. If I just set that back up to there, you'll you'll see a bit easier. Okay, so now you can see it going across the screen. If I move it up even further, or move it down, you'll see it's constantly altering the value graph. So this is the y-axis, this is the x-axis. If we were to get rid of all the easing, and we just go back to normal keyframes. You can do that by pressing command on your keyboard. So by pressing command, you can just get rid of the easing. And now you'll see that it's a direct straight line. Okay, and it's moving at a constant pace because we've got rid of all the easing. Okay, so um, hopefully that's demystified the graph editor a little bit. If you've got any comments, put them below. Uh, happy to answer them. Um, and enjoy. Um, like I say, it takes a bit of time getting used to, but once you get used to it, you'll love it and you'll be creating some really interesting animations. And I'll catch you in the next one. Bye.